I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So before we jump into today's video, here is today's comment of the day. If you guys want to be comment of the day, all you have to do is comment on this video or any other video and I pick one from my new notifications. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to a new video. Today is another part of Lepacy. We are now officially on part 3. So you guys can kind of see what I did with the house, like adding in... Um, I can't think of her name. Keisha's bedroom and then her boyfriend's just kind of chilling. But Genevieve right now is actually looking for a new case. Um, so this one here shouldn't keep a garden gnome. So it's something to do with kicking garden gnomes by the looks of it. So apparently we're going to go and do that. I am filming this right after I filmed the last part. So if we still have a little bit of lag, I am sorry. But uh, it happens. Um, Genevieve is still feeling some grief from her grandma's death. Completely understandable. Um, this is probably going to be a fairly long video, so if you guys want to go ahead, pause this, go grab a drink, a snack, a blanket, go right ahead. I don't mind. Go pause it, go do what you gotta do. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of hang out for a bit, have some fun, play some Lepacy, because I'm loving this family a lot. I'm having so much fun. And we'll just kind of see what happens, but I am, again, pre-filming because of my final exams. And I don't want to miss putting out some content, so she's just over here making, I think I have her making peanut butter and jelly. Um, I hope that you guys are all having a really good day or night, wherever you guys are while you're watching this. And I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling really good and excited about this series. And apparently we just got level 1 of the cooking skill, so here is her little PB&J. Um, I was going to put those away, but I should probably let her eat one. So you can go ahead and grab a plate. Okay. I haven't really set the town yet, but I promise I will do that. It's just I'm having so much fun playing that I don't want to pause to reset the town. Even though I know that it would make it a lot better solve case. Well, I can easily lock that one in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put these over here in the fridge. Let her grab something to eat. She is in a pretty good mood, though. Somebody did turn on the stereo. But uh, I have Donta, I think is his name. So I turned off my selectability for him and Keisha, so they're now just like NPC roommates sort of thing. They go and do their own thing whenever they want to do it, which I can do through NROS without having a university, which is always very nice. But uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of hang out for a bit, but see like he can get up and go and do whatever he wants to do. So it's kind of nice. But we're just going to let her finish up her PB&J here, and then we'll clean it up. Apparently we're choking on food. Apparently she doesn't chew. Oh, look at he's cleaning. How nice. Okay, so clean that up. It's actually kind of nice having, like, a roommate that's going to clean, because I don't feel like Genevieve's home enough for that. So I'm not complaining, and I know you guys are probably wondering how... Uh, Keisha and her boyfriend sleep in the same bed. The bed that I'm using is from Sketchbook Pixels, and it is actually functional for both sides. So, like, they can go into, like, through the one side, but they can still both get to, like, they can both sleep in the bed. So, that's kind of really nice for a situation like this where the room's really tiny. Okay, so I'm just trying to take care of some of her needs really quick before sending her out on the job. Just because it is a ambitions career, it can be kind of finicky when it comes to needs. And I don't have her with the, is it inappropriate in a good way? I think that's the name of the little lifetime reward thing. I haven't purchased that. And it looks like Keisha took her car. So we're probably traveling by taxi. 
not ideal while also not having some great lag here. I promise, if you guys are new with this series, I promise my game is not normally this bad. You guys can go and like check out some of my other videos. I don't have this much lag normally. Um, this series and my... Uh, Let's Chill and Play some Silly series. They're both kind of like a little bit laggy. And like this series wasn't laggy until we got to Twin Book. So I don't really know what's up with that. But uh, apparently we're running through some... Oh. Okay, so this lady over here has got a fedora on and a wedding dress. Um, search Bill Becker's garbage can for clues. Well, we can do that, but where does he live? <sighs> he's away. Oh, he's away over. Okay. So this house looks like it's very modern. I don't play in Twin Book very often. It's just not a world that I tend to gravitate towards. Except if I'm doing, like, a leprosy thing like this. So I'm going to bring her over here to search his garbage can for clues. See what we can find. And just kind of, I don't know, just kind of wait and see, I guess, really. But uh, she does have a few wants here. So, like, her one is to do some low-level police work. So maybe I'll do that in this part, too. Uh, she does want to improve her logic skill just because that helps with her career. But it's not mandatory. I believe even just doing, like, the ambition stuff works fairly well for getting her career up. But I did definitely benefit with her getting her logic skill up. I did that at the beginning, and she started leveling up in her career, which was nice. Which I did off camera, because I didn't feel like you, you guys would want to sit there and watch her play chess for hours. So, we just kind of worked on that a little bit. We did just get 146 simoleons, which I'm guessing was Keisha. I'm guessing she got paid from work. And, oh. I honestly thought we were getting caught. But it doesn't look like we are. Okay, so that looks like it's a cat. Um, ask about shoes to Bill Becker. Well, it looks like he's just stepping outside here, so we can do that. But I feel like I'm kind of interrupting something. Uh, let's come over here and confront our suspect. Oh, she attracted to him. Um, okay, I feel like, I don't remember what, if Genevieve's absent-minded or not, just while I'm doing this, but it sometimes feels like she is a bit of, like, an absent-minded sim. She'll go off and just kind of do her own thing, and Keisha does the same thing. But, that's alright. Uh, Yusuf, uh, nothing, da 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 Okay, so I guess Yusuf's getting really into painting. Uh, report into Jennifer, we can do that. But yeah, it looks like Yusuf's getting really into painting, which is interesting. Uh, we have so much in common. How did they know they wouldn't have left any blackmail? Okay, so we're not doing too bad for job performance. We did just level up in the last part. But I feel like her life... Oh, look at we have her car back. But I feel like her lifetime wish isn't going to be all too difficult. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the investigator career. Um, I know on Twitter that Ghost Hunter actually ended up winning. But the night that I was filming, a private investigator was in the lead. Um, is this chick stuck? She's standing in the same place she was whenever we got it. Uh, end of the gnome abuse. Poor battered gnome will soon be comfortable The sun's and the sun runs again. I mean, okay. So we're just going to have her head on home. Uh, we'll just come over here and I'll let her come home and take a shower because her hygiene is getting a little bit low. And then everything else actually isn't doing all too bad. Um, we're gonna lock that in. She does have another want to solve a case. Uh, looks like Keisha and Donta are off to bed, which is fine by me. And you can just come home and grab a quick meal. 
because she's not like super hungry so I don't feel like I need to have her eat a whole lot and we'll just kind of go from there okay so we are back it is now the next morning I put this little gnome out front it was in Genevieve's inventory and I thought it was kind of cute so I'm actually going to have her come over here and do some low-level police work, just because that is one of her wants. Um, I'm actually probably going to get her to meet the cops, just because that can help her build up a relationship. And I don't know if it helps her work performance or not, but I definitely think it'd be beneficial to know some more people get in with the cops, since, I mean, technically a private investigator is kind of like in with the cops. So I definitely think it makes sense. And I have a feeling she's going to end up, yeah, I was going to say she's probably going to end up running there because it's not that far away from her place. Which actually doesn't bother me all too much. It's actually kind of nice. Okay, so she's just going to go ahead and go in and do her low-level police work here. Which just checked off that want. Very nice. But it brought up a want to buy a trampoline. And then she also wants to visit the graveyard. I'm not going to lock that one in. Just we might end up going in the, maybe the next part. Just to go and like visit Delaney. But I don't want to lock it in. Just because something else might pop up. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and look for a case while we're done this too. So the one thing I'm noticing right now. But the low level police work. It brings down her fun a lot. So this probably isn't something we're going to do a whole lot of just because it drops her fun so much. But uh, if it's going to help her job performance out a bit, then it's definitely worth it. I'm not going to save it right yet. Okay. Hopefully this finishes up soon. I don't know how long this takes. And with us only having one sim, I'm just kind of like stuck waiting. But Genevieve is still quite young. Uh, she's met Sophia Carlton. And made 61 simoleons. Sophia has a part-time job patrolling. Alright. So I'm going to have her go back in and just look for a investigator case just while she's there. Um, Donta is actually just leaving work as well, so we just got some simoleons from him. And there's somebody else walking around in a wedding dress, so it seems like it's wedding season around here. Okay. So as you guys can see here, like she's not too far away from her family home, it's literally just like across the bridge. But, I think I'm going to have her come over here to the spa, uh, just to get, have a little bit of like a relaxation time. We'll just get her to have a little bit of a massage, and I can't, I think it gets rid of the stress mood, but I just can't remember if it helps her fun. Um, report into Holly Greenwood, something about, okay, seems like a bit of an interesting case there, but... We'll have to get into that after she goes to the spa. And I remember the Greenwoods being such a big name in Twinbrook. I like her color. It's so cute. I like the color of it. I wasn't too sure about it at first. Felt like it's starting to grow on me. I was kind of wanting it a bit darker. But I definitely like this color. But she's going to go ahead and head on into the day spa here. Her fun already looks like it's starting to go up. Which is nice, we did just pay 250 simoleons for this. So, I'll look at that. Look at how much her fund's going up from this. And then after she's done, we'll go ahead and interview. We did just get 174 simoleons. Not sure what that was for. Because it's not her stipend. Okay, I actually didn't realize how much the like, spa helps with her fund. Because normally I just use the spa when it comes to like my pregnant sims wanting a massage if their partner's not around. Okay, so that brought her fun up about midway. It doesn't look like it's going to go up any higher. But it's definitely a lot better than what it was at. 
so I really can't complain. But we can go ahead and go and interview Holly. Oh, she's still upset. Alright, so she looks like she has that mood lit for about 12 hours, which is always nice. But we're going to go ahead and head on over to Miss Holly Greenwood and interview her. Um, we're soon approaching the point of not having, uh, like, having Genevieve grieving. Which is kind of nice because, like, I get understand the grieving process and it's definitely not this fast. But in a game, it does get kind of, uh, inspect mail and mailboxes. We can do that. That's pretty easy. I'm guessing this is because she's into politics. So I'm just probably going to do these three that are, like, right here. Okay, so I'm going to wait for these to load up so I can see the mailboxes. But at some points, like, my Sims crying, it kind of ruins some stuff. But, like, I like the realism of it. Because grieving is not a fun process, that's for sure. Okay, why are you taking so long to load up? I'm just going to bring her over here. And hopefully that helps load it up a little bit faster. Anything? Oh yeah, okay. So me bringing her over here definitely helped. So we can go ahead and inspect the mailbox for clues. And then we'll head on over here to this one, which probably isn't going to load up quite yet either. Okay, there we go. So inspect mailbox for clues. And then we have this little house down here that we can go ahead and do the exact same thing. Alright. And then inspect the mail for clues. And she, I was going to say, she hasn't even moved to do the first one yet. Alright, so I'm just going to let her do this. Um, I can't imagine going through somebody's mail. Like, I just, I can't. Okay, I like that they look around though to make sure that they're not being... Kylo and Lolly Racket appear to be totally committed to each other. Well, that's kind of cute. Lolly is a pretty cute sim. As like one of the teenagers in town, she is pretty cute. Ava gave her a makeover before, I think it was off camera, because she ended up dating... One of my sims in my current household, I can't remember who. But... They ended up being, like, really cute together. Okay, so there's some people up here on the porch just kind of floating away. Uh, so, okay, I don't know who these people are, but we're just going to go through your mail, stay distracted. Can you imagine someone just walking up and going through your mail while you're over on the porch, like, floating? Uh, report into Holly, and I think they just ended up becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. That's what that looked like to me. I like the boyfriend and girlfriend interaction, which is kind of cute. But she's out of there before she was even noticed. So we'll go ahead and report our findings to Holly. Excuse me, where are you going? This is the one thing I can't stand. Come on. I'm going to have to cancel it out and, like, put it back in. All right. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer this. Looks like it's Camden. Um, we're going to go ahead and visit here, but we can talk to her for a little bit, just get our social up. Uh, it does look like our grieving is finally over, though. Okay, so her, fun her social is all the way up now. I am just going to go ahead and get her to go ahead and visit Holly. It is getting late, so I would kind of like to get this done fairly quickly. Hopefully Holly's still awake and will let us inside. Or at least to talk to her. Okay, so it does look like she is still awake. Awesome. Alright, so they're just going to chat. Um, 
Okay. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that like sound in the background. Kind of sounds like a bit like a helicopter, but I don't really know what's going on. But we're going to go ahead and just, there we go. So we got the saving the environment moodlet from that. Uh, I'm guessing that was like something to do with politics. Okay, so we're back in the next day. So now this one is in the name of love and it's through Jennifer Murray again to see if she's getting an engagement ring. So I'm definitely enjoying this one. This is that lady with the fedora and the wedding dress. So like d clearly she's been hinting at it. She's walking around in a wedding dress. But we're gonna go ahead and just get our mail here really quick, pay some bills. And then we'll head off and do her job. I did go ahead and reset the town, so we should have a little bit less lag now, which is nice. Uh, you need to answer your phone. Oh, it looks like it's Yusuf. Uh, well, sure, we'll talk to him. I did actually get her to improve her relationship with her siblings off camera too, which is nice. Although, now she has a stronger relationship with her siblings than she does her mom. And it looks like there's some guy from China visiting Twinbrook. Okay, is there anybody that's like cute? Somebody's missing a skin. But it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of cute sims for us to like choose from that she knows already. So it'll be interesting to see. I do have a little bit of someone in mind. But I want to see if they come across each other naturally. I don't want to like force that. So I do have a little bit of an idea at least. But for now we're going to go ahead and help out Jennifer to see if she's getting engaged. Uh, we just lost 480 simoleons and I'm not quite sure for what. But like we do have enough money that it's alright. I'm guessing one of the roommates is doing something. Where is this sim? Where are we going? Oh, is she in work? Okay, so this might be a little bit annoying. Uh, sometimes if they are in... Oh, look, it's rich. But if they're inside, like, a rabbit hole, they won't come out to be, like, interviewed by you or anything of that sort. So it looks like she's in the business building. I could have Genevieve go and attend a class. But I think... I'm going to get her to head on over to the Red Rendezvous. We're just going to hold off on this case for now. Go out and just have a little bit of some time to herself. And just kind of see what happens. It's not very far away from the area anyway, so it does kind of end up working out. But I don't want to keep like waiting and waiting and waiting for Jennifer just whenever she's at work. So I may as well have Genevieve go ahead and do something. Um, if you guys watched my Not So Barely challenge, we were in Twinbrook. Oh, okay, so somebody's either in labor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a sim that I actually wanted her to meet. So this is good one good. Um, kind of ironic that he's here and playing some foosball. So I'm just going to let her go ahead and give a friendly introduction. But what I was going to say was if you guys watched my not so belly challenge, my Rose generation, we were at this bar all the time for political uh, parties and stuff like that. Ooh, okay, they're attracted to each other. All right, who is over here? Nobody of interest. All right, so she just found out some of his traits. It looks like they both have the great kisser trait. Definitely something that's kind of weird to me at least to figure out without them actually like kissing or anything like that. Uh, okay. So I'm just using my little deep conversation mod. Love this mod. It builds up relationships so much faster. But uh, it looks like he is actually a firefighter. I'm just going to go ahead and let them do their own thing. That's just kind of like friendly. Are we really getting a phone call right now? Did you hear that Sophia Carlton is filthy rich? I would have never guessed. 
and now she's telling him a story. Okay, so I want her to answer her phone. Someone close to you has recently died. See, I would love to do that, but that doesn't feel right. So we're going to go ahead and just do this friendly social thing. I don't think I've ever actually completed that opportunity. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and ask about his career and just kind of like do some other stuff just to kind of get to know him a little more. There we go. Um, Because I want to know like his gender preference stuff. Like clearly they're attracted to each other. And then we'll consider attractiveness because I want to know what Genevieve thinks. And there's actually quite a few sims here. Okay, so he's a water boy. I kind of figured he was in the firefighter crew, but I may as well ask anyways. Uh, he's one day older. He is family oriented and he's a Scorpio like me. Um, and then we'll get to know him, see if we can figure out this one last trait. Of course, I would be a fool not to get to know you better. Well, that's kind of sweet. So she's going to ask his gender preference. So it looks like he's straight. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and consider the attractiveness here really quick. Oh, look, that's the lady we need to talk to. And some guys just randomly, okay. Uh, we'll do this one down here. So it looks like they, she finds him blindingly stunning. And they're now friends. And he's going to give her a hug by the looks of it. Uh, so she actually wants to be good friends with him. I do want to get to know him. I want to figure out what this last trait is. There's nothing like a feeling of a warm flame to make a sim happy. Are you kidding? Look at this. She just got the want to kiss him for the first time. But we're just going to let them kind of chat. And then we'll go ahead and form a group with him. Maybe go out for some food. I have a good heart and a compassionate soul. Up until now, I've lived my whole life by the book, but I've got something new coming for me. And what does that mean? Okay, so she's listening to a story. Talking about, it looks like maybe his work. It looks like it's all fire and fire alarm related. So maybe he's talking about his work. There's some better times for the Jones, Brown, Smith, William family. But who's to say bad times aren't an opportunity for things to get much better? Despite her young age and her parents' constant bickering, who is Jenny? Give a friendly introduction to Jennifer. Well, Jennifer and Jenny aren't the same people. But, uh, looks like... Hold on a second. Looks like Keisha Bundy and Donta are awaiting a new addition to their family. Okay, so clearly I'm kicking them out. Because they're gonna have a baby. And it looks like this one's getting a phone call again. I'm just gonna ignore that. We're gonna come over here and, like talk to this chick and get some details so that we can go to work. Um, it looks like Goodwin just went ahead and sat down with somebody. Oh, Jenny Good. Is that his wife? Is he married? Inspect mail for Oswaldo, is that what that said? I never asked him if he was single. Well, all right, I'm still going to send them off to go ahead and grab some food anyways, but I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and the occasional Saturday video 
when I'm able to film BitLife. I haven't done that in a while. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, if you already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. Both subscribing and the bell notification are free. If you want to be comment of the day, I think I said this at the beginning of the video. But all you have to do is leave a comment and I pick one randomly from my notifications. Um, that was just a random notification that I put Camden. But I will see you guys all in my very next video. Okay, bye guys. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?